Howdy all, Mach 1 Fireman here. Welcome back to the Farlanders Patreon server. Last episode, we worked on a little bit of the uh, childhood home over there, but today is a Monday, so that server tour Monday. Uh, and before we get started, I'm going to show you a couple things. I've been busy. I went to the Ender Ender. Also, I got a bunch of diamonds. I now have right out of stack. But right here, let's let's take a look. I, I got all diamond gear, all diamond tools, and they're all enchanted. So let's take a look at the enchants. Projectile protection, aqua affinity, respiration. I'm breaking protection four, I'm breaking protection four, and protection four, feather falling four, unbreaking three, depth strider three. Those are good. I like those. I had, I named them so I can repair them. Don't fall. Uh, and then I got, uh, I think I've been using that sword. There's my halligan. Here's my axe, just efficiency three. The little, the shovel that could, part two. Uh, and then the bow, uh, efficiency and fortune on a shovel, which apparently means that anytime I dig gravel, anytime I dig gravel, I get flint instead of the actual gravel, which is pretty cool, I suppose, if you need flint. But today, we are going to go take a look around the tour, or around the server. We're going to go check out somebody. That, that Next episode, we'll talk about that and that over there, which you may or may not be able to see with that over there. So let's hop in the nether. I have an idea who I want to go visit, so we're going to head that way. Woo, and turn out the right way. We're going to start in the village. We are going to go and visit... James, who is a uh, one of the first subscribers from the Patreon server that I remember. I remember James was like, hey, I subscribed. I was like, hey, thanks, man. <clears throat> so we're going to go check out James's build real quick. And he is right through here. Now, I haven't actually seen his build recently. I'm pretty sure it's this way. Is that it? I don't know. Uh, oh, nope. That's it. There's James' build. We'll go take a look at that in a second. Oh, let's go take a look at this first. See what the the pill bottle or the uh, pill box is. Suck it. Uh, have we looked at this already? Home for summers, home for summer. <laughs> Looks like it'd get quite hot in the summer because it's all glass. Uh, still got a few months to work on air conditioning. Cool. I like it. Okay, it would get pretty hot with all the glass, though. That is a lot, a lot. Of, good gracious, James. Uh, can we get to it? That guy hiding in the in the grass. You see that? Come here. Ha! Alright, let's see if this path takes us over to James's place. Or if we just gotta go traipsing through the woods. I'm okay with traipsing through the woods, but... So who is this? Rusty. Oh, uh, he... <laughs> got a monument to Wolfie up there. Holy crap. That's, uh... That's a big, big undertaking right there. Take a look at this a little bit better. That thing is huge. Is that all cobble? I think it is. Good gracious. We'll go up there in a second. I'm going to go check out James. Pretty sure this is his stuff. Come to me, Pathways. Pathways? Pathways. I know we're getting close. The Tube Horizon, James W. 1868. It's a lot of stuff. Lord have mercy, James. Woo! Make you dizzy. Woo! <laughs> Good gracious, James. This is. Yeah, let me help you out here, brother. Hiya! Hiya! I thought I heard another one. No, okay. <laughs> James, this is. This is insane. It's very cool. But quite, quite insane. That, uh, there we go. There's right in the middle. There we go. Okay. Um, I would like to know, James, how, how many deserts 
did you completely clear out? And where did you get all of the bone meal required for the white glass? Because that is white glass, I believe. That is crazy. Uh, this way, yeah. Oh, did you name your horse yet? Nope. Okay. Do -do -do. And whoop. so let's go take a look at it. Uh, we need to get a better vantage just to to see how massive this thing is. Uh, we can do it from Wolfie statue. Okay, sounds good. Wolfie is Kurt J. Mack's companion in his uh, Far Lands or Bust seasons and series. This is. So let's go. Let's go take a look at Wolfie, and then we'll get a better look at James's uh, monstrosity. Uh, Horizon tube is that what he called it, or what it was called? I believe. I believe. I believe. So can we get to Wolfie going this way? I don't. Maybe. 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 It does appear to go outside. That's a good. That's a good. Yeah, there's Wolfie. Let's get up here on top of this mountain. That's Crumbelina's castle. Uh, we looked at Crumbelina's castle, I think, last week. But look at this thing. James. Very well done, sir. That is a lot of work and dedication went into that. Oh, Rusty. Yeah. Let's see. What did this say? Computerizer's project. Oh, guys, sneeze. Hold on. Whew. Sorry. Excuse me. Whew. Bless me. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. So, well, who do we say this was? Computerizer? Computerizer. Wolfie. Wolfie is, is looking good, my man. Or lady. I, I, I don't know. I haven't actually met computerizer, <laughs> so I don't know. But James, James, that's that's some cool stuff there, James. Did a good job. Computerizer, you're doing a great job as well. And then, uh, Rusty, we took a quick run through your place. I think it was... Uh, yeah, over here. It's Rusty 075. Rusty 075. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Okay. Woohoo! Feather fella egg! Have a heart. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, can't jump over that. And then uh, Rusty075, I think we've been down here. Looks like he's done a little bit of work. Okay, he's done a lot of work. Good gracious, Rusty. It goes all the way down to bedrock. Oh, um... Missed my shift button. All right. It's cool. All right, don't miss the shift button here. That that could be bad. All this armor that you got. Oh. Well, hello, Ravine. Nice to see you. How's your mom and them? Good job, Rusty. This all looks good. Ooh. There's ocean. Oh, yeah, we need to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ooh, ooh, I, I, I. Yeah, they are that for sure. Uh, I don't. Mm, how long have we been going? Ten minutes. Uh, there's something else I wanted to go take a look at real quick, and um, and then we might be able to make it over to the temple. I don't know though. Yeah, this way, and it is where I want to go is probably fastest to go through the nether. So let's head back in. Stupid ladder. Let's head back into the nether real quick and take a take a, a jaunt. Take a jaunt through. Go over to... Grr. Stupid iron doors. I hate them. I don't really hate them. But, uh, they get annoying sometimes when you are... Having trouble with your buttons. All right, let's let's head over to spawn. Jump, be jump, be jump, be jump. Kurt. Huh. 
Okay. Apparently Kurt made a portal. He uh, he did some live streaming earlier this week on the uh, on the server here, and he's he made himself a home. And is this not the most dangerous tunnel ever or <laughs> walkway ever to try to get to spawn? Oh, it's Typhoon Gunner. I I apparently. Well, hello. I apparently have made a wrong turn somewhere. Did I miss the uh, the uh, spawn tunnel? I may have. I must have, obviously, because that wasn't it. <laughs> quartz. I just, you know, I wish I knew what to do with the quartz. <clears throat> All right, village spawn area. There we go. I was like, that's just the wall. There's no spawn portal. And what did it say? To the Mesa biome. Okay. Yes, yes. This is much more, much more like it. Recognize this now. And of course it's raining. And nighttime. Awesome. So the where we want to go is over here. Yeah, so fast because of a beacon. Yeah. Just run past everything. Sunset Boulevard. Okay, I had a little glitch in the matrix there. Hopefully I'm still recording. Or recording again. Yeah, it should still be recording. <laughs> but over here is Crazy Pyra. Hi! 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 Flowers. So, uh, yeah, it's Crazy crazy Pyra, Crazy Pyra. He's done some good work over here. He's got his Grand Theft boat, boat rental. <laughs> and inside the boat rental, you got Jethro. He'll rent you a boat. You got the, uh, the speeder. The squalo, 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 squalo two, the tropic and the predator. You can rent you a boat if you want to, to, to go off into the uh, boat names are not on waterproof. That means if you put the boat down, then you, you lose your your uh, the name on the boat. So yeah, you, you go go into go into there, rent your boat, and sail off into the wild blue yonder. And I think, uh, he's still working. She, he, I don't know. Thank you. Nice, to, nice job. Looks good. Well done. Crazy power. I, I, uh, he actually had to come help him out yesterday to, uh, be able to name his, uh, his villager there. We're going to go with he because I think, I think it's a he. If it's not, then if you see this video, you could correct me. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's that's crazy pyro. I had to. I fell again. That's all right. I've got depth strider. We're just as fast in the water as we are on the ground. Ha ha! Suck it, stupid water effect. But yeah, I uh, I had to. He was asking for help to come. Uh, got him to uh, come help name his village, and I was able to uh, come over and help him out. So there we go. There's that. Regular food. I'm running low on food. I'm gonna take me some baked taters. Take me some baked taters, cause I uh, I haven't made anything. But my oh, oh good cheese. Inside his old face there for a second. Meow. Inside his own face, my own face. Ah. And going to the mesa. Have fun, crazy Pyra, Pyra, great crazy, crazy guy. Have fun, crazy. So this this way, yes, this way. And uh, who else? Who else we got over here? Oh, there's James. There's James's portal. Okay, we could have just gone through there to see James. I didn't know he had his portal up already. Cool. Good job, James. And who? Else? There was something else I wanted to go. Oh, the lighthouse. Let's go look at the lighthouse. Should have done that while I was over by James's place, but that's all right. I, there we go. I believe the lighthouse is up over here. Uh, maybe it's this way. Is it in the distance? I can't tell. Well, that's a dangerous exit. It's not an exit. It just goes into the farm. All right. 
Yep, that goes into a pen, that goes into a pen. So we go this way to get this way to get out. Let's see if we can't find the lighthouse. Let's pick up some Well, I picked up a bunch of stuff. Alright. No. No. Hmm. That's not that's James. Wolfie with the 3D glasses. Where did I see the freaking lighthouse? I was, uh, I saw it on the way to help out crazy. I could have swore it was right out there. Maybe I rendered it. The rocket is apparently taking flight. <laughs> wow. I'm glad I came over here to see that. That's pretty cool. Whoever's working on this, good job. That took a lot of work right there because you, you know, there's nothing up there to build off of. You gotta transport, yeah, you gotta pillar up and transport every block one by one. That's, that is really cool. Good job. Let's go take a look. Since we got Death Striders, it's not gonna take us very long to get over there. Let's go see what this says. Hey, hey, hey. And Cecile and Crumbelita did this. Successful rocket launch up to space. Mission controller Cecile and Shadow Wolf. Good job. Good job, Cecile and Shadow Wolf. That is that is awesome. <laughs> that is great. And there's a lighthouse. Well done. Well I almost miss that. Good job, Cecile. That is. Oh. Put an aura. Oh. Apparently, you can see underwater with. Uh... Is it respiration that's able to make me able to do that? Neat. Neat. Yeah. <laughs> that. Well done. Well done. Very clever. Very clever, that. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. So, here's the lighthouse. I'm assuming this is the official Spawn Town lighthouse. I think we may have walked into here before, but, um, didn't really, you know, it wasn't really built. Um, you hear some, hear some redstone working in the background here. Lighthouse of Shadow Wolf. Okay, that's cool. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Hope you don't have seizures. So, <laughs> that is, that is awesome. This lighthouse rivals the lighthouse of Alex Alexandria. If you don't know what that is, kids, look it up. Google is your friend. Let's go take a look. Let's, let's head up to the top real quick. Mr. Shadow Wolf. Did a wonderful job on the lighthouse. That is a lot of glowstone. A lot, a lot of glowstone. Oh, I got a red topper on it, too. There's James's thing from a distance. May or may not be able to see it from here. Oh, I'm not going to be able to make this same. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, hmm. Try a little. Mm, no. I want to jump off. I want to. Oh. Apparently there's jump boost on these beacons. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go take a look at this from a distance before the sun comes up. So you can see the lights shining brightly. For the old lighthouse telling you, spawn is this way. And then, of course, you got the rocket blasting off into into space. You even got the lights on it from the from the actual rockets. Awesome, awesome. And James, you, we can barely see you over there in the distance. Awesome over there too. All right, that's going to be it for this Monday server tour. Have we been down there? Who's is that? Oh, this is the, uh, you know, the the sawmill, the log sawmill. Let's take a look. We're over, since we're over here. I can't remember if I showed this or not. I know I looked through it. Uh, I can't remember if I did it on camera. But yeah, this is the sawmill. Somebody did a good job with this. That's the saw. Get the logs coming in and getting split. And then let's, let's take a look here. Yep. 
Flower Village Sawmill Lumber to Plunder. Built and managed by Hobo Build CEO Herman the Hobo. We may have looked at this. I don't remember, but Herman, well done. And then my, my favorite part of the whole thing is you actually got the logs, or he's got the logs coming down the river into the sawmill. Looks very cool. And then you got the water wheel to turn the saw in the middle. Very clever. Very clever. Bye. Uh, so, yeah, that's... Oh, hey, I got it in there. So, uh, yeah, that's... Hi. That's going to be it for this episode. As always, I appreciate y'all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, fellow Farlanders, if you know of any other Farlanders that have YouTube channels and you want to let me know what they are so I can link them in the descriptions, please do so. Also, uh, those of you who are not Farlanders, feel free to check out the other Farlanders that are in the description. They've got some good stuff going on, as you can see. But uh, that's it. As always, I appreciate y'all for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Yep. Bye. -bye. Bye.